Welcome to our 2024 Best in Class Video Tasting Series from our Valkyries Horn Commercial Competition. So our some fun numbers from our competition this last year, we had 356 combined entries. There was 120 entries in our commercial division, 236 entries in our amateur division. We had overall 200 combined participants, 85 combined judges, 22 combined stewards, 10 staff and participants and judges and entrants coming from over five different countries. So sitting down with us today to taste through these, we have members of the Valkyries Horn Board. So we have with us today, Kevin Meinsma, Adam Bystrom, Josh Holbrook, Al Boyce, Tony Dudden. So we'll be tasting through the best winners of each of our combined categories. So the best of our traditional mead categories, won our Master of Blossoms Award. The overall winner from our fruit mead categories won our Master of Fruit Award. And then the winner of our spice combined categories was the Master of Spice. And then our open category winner was the Master of Mayhem. So we're going to be sitting down and tasting through these today. So we hope you'll join us and enjoy. Our 2024 Master of Mayhem winner from our Valkyries Horn 2024 commercial meat competition. Our winner this year was from Sap House Meadery for their Om Nom Nom Mead, an oatmeal raisin cookie mead. This clocks in at 12% ABV from Sap House out of New Hampshire. So what do you think about this one, Kevin? There's a lot going on in here. My first impression was cinnamon right up front. To me, it presents a Ceylon. No idea what they actually use, but it's got that kind of nice soft cinnamon note, even though it's very present. And it's got a long, woody, tannin, uh, kind of a finish for this thing that you really helps to balance out the sweetness of the other components that are in here. Uh, as Josh said, you know, there's raisins, there's uh, sugar, other things going on. What, what do you think, Kevin? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to follow suit. Like, what's going on in, in this uh, methaglen is, it's just, like, this has been kind of like my, like, like uh, uh, holy grail for, uh, you know, like the past like four plus years, like I've, I've just been like waiting for the opportunity to try it and for it to be like put on the table. Like I, I, I've i been kind of like holding it in, but I think all you guys know like how excited I am to try it. You're a uh, fanboy. Well, <laughs> it's this white whale. <laughs> it, it is a white whale. It, it, it's because uh, like you're, you're, you're taking like three known flavors, you know, like oats, and cinnamon and raisin and putting it into a liquid like and, and for it to come through like aromatically and like all through like the finish like it's just this this is very special like it's a lot going on here mm -hmm. and nothing to complain about like this is wonderful yeah like, this is wonderful yeah lots well, of fun one yeah. of my favorite things about this meat is the through line of raisin that runs through it because you get raisin in the aroma raisin in the flavor raisin in the finish but like along the way there's all this complexity from the spice and the oats and all these other characteristics but there's this consistent mm -hmm. delicious flavor mm -hmm. of raisin that goes all the way through mm -hmm. and i can't remember the last time i've had a meat where like a spice like cinnamon like this is performing the role of like what acid would in a normal meat where it's helping balance the sweetness like the cinnamon really is doing a lot of heavy lifting in terms of the balance and it's just really well done big time between all of those ingredients, it still comes together as oatmeal raisin cookie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'd say if, uh, Adam, if you buy a bottle of this to have at the house, you should keep it on the top shelf away from your son. How old is he now? Six. Six. Uh, yeah, he's right in that age where he would, like, this would be all no. oatmeal. Yeah. oatmeal. Yeah. Oh, raisin. Oh, boy. Yummy, yummy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you'll come over. I'll share it with you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. I like chocolate chip better, chocolate chip cookies, <laughs> but this is really a really good oatmeal raisin cookie. Uh, I would pair this probably with a vanilla custard, vanilla ice cream, something like that. Legs are amazing too. Yeah, we were talking about it earlier. We're talking about the fact that there's like almost a pruny note to it. We're talking about like, you know, dark sugar notes, dried fruit notes, some cinnamon notes. Kind of reminds me almost of like Dr. Pepper, like that dark richness with the. Uh, Prettiness coming through. It's really nice. So this is one of those what we sometimes call like concept meats, right? Like we yeah. have an idea for a meat. Yes. Like, okay, I want to make oatmeal raisin cookie. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's not always executed really well. Mm -hmm. And like, here it is. It's really knocked out of the park. Like oatmeal raisin cookie. Totally. totally. Like, it reminds me of like bread pudding too. Yeah. Like, all the similar elements. And, and you can think of like how many different meats you can make from that. Like, you yeah. know, like orange creamsicle or, or like uh, mint julep. Or like you know, like uh, like Singapore sling. You know, it's like all these different weird flavors, right? Yeah. yeah. Like you say what it is, and then you give someone a meat. It's it's Deliver. a meat. It's a meat. It's going to be different, mm -hmm. but like you want that familiarity. This nails it. Yeah. This yeah. nails it. You can take all the elements out, yeah. and they're all layered, and that's a big deal. Yeah. Drinking, mm -hmm. you can clearly tell this is an oatmeal or raisin mead. All the parts are working together so well. Mm -hmm. Like, and like we talking about earlier, the cinnamon like it feels more like Ceylon, like Cassia. It's not like an aggressive cinnamon. Mm -hmm. It's not like, kind of like Fireball or anything like that. It's mm -hmm. very right. pleasant and melts together with everything yes. else in a very good way. Yeah. I, and, and another thing, I don't know if we've like talked about like about oatmeal. It's yeah. like like how are you getting that incorporated? Like without being like too heavy bodied, mm -hmm. you know, like. It's there in their ar aromatics, like it's like toasted oat, and then in the flavor, it it kind of like it's it's for sure like cinnamon and raisin followed by that oatmeal. I just how you get that is bonkers. Yeah, I mean, maybe I, it's I've a had, bracket. <laughs> yeah, I've had growing up a lot of uh, cinnamon with raisins and brown sugar, and you know, it's just it's very very. This tastes like I'm thinking that. You mentioned Dr. Pepper too. Did you mention yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. Very Dr. Like so, very yeah. cola, Dr. Pepper. Mm -hmm. Like like yeah. It has all those like dark elements. spiced soda with like that rich like kind of almost caramel note to it. Yep. Yeah. Love it. And it's robust too. Like this is not a subtle meat. Mm -hmm. Like very robust, very complex, very elegant, very smooth. So yeah. so congrats. Just a gorgeous, wonderful meat from Sap House. We checked. It is available on Vino Shipper. We encourage everybody to go out and pick up a bottle. So congrats again to Sap House on their Master of Mayhem. And just gorgeous mead. Cheers. Thanks, Sap House. You guys kill it. Congratulations. Cheers.